Okay, so uh, today the topic is how a BDT is going to use in the business partner. So, what is this BDT? So, basically, BDT means a business data tool sets. So, when we are into the ECC system, we never heard about the BDT because we are not using a business partner as the master data. Instead, we are using a customer or vendor as the master data for sales and MM models. But when we come slowly into the business partner or as for now, business partner, which is the uh, final master data, what we are going to use. It's a harmonized master data across the S4 system. Either you take SD or MM or uh, HR or any of the different models. So only the way we are going to create a business partner is only using a PP transaction and it's harmonized. We are not going to use a multiple master data and we have only a single master data. So what is this and why we need to use a BDT? So before we start, what is a BDT? So we should understand a few questions like what BDT mean and is it new functionality in this for system or what are the functions of this BDT and where does this BDT used and is it a functional change or is it a technical change? So before we answer, first of all, we should know what is a BDT. As I said, BDT is a business and this is not a new functionality in the SAP system, but it is new to the S4 system. So which means uh, we are working on SAP SG module, but uh, maybe somebody else is also working on SAP TM module or GTS module or uh, PWA module. So they are already using a business but uh, the people who are the folks who are working on SG or MM models, so for them it is new business partner. Because we only used uh, customer master or vendor master. We never used a BP transaction. But the business partner is already available in your SAP system in the new dimension models like a CRM, GTS, TM, EWM, and any uh, new dimension models for that matter. So in those models, when they are creating a business partner, so they also have a requirement for changing the layouts or changing the field catalogs or changing the screen sequence groups. So in such models, how they are using or what is the transaction they are going to use to create or to make necessary changes in the screens or to make a field catalog changes or to make the field screen changes. So that functionality is called as ability and now when we move into this system, so the same functionality we are going to use, which means BDT is the only approach what we have for changes of a screen sequence or the changing of field catalog or to make a layout changes in the business partner. Uh, in your SG or MM model, we have account groups. OBD2, OBD3, OBD4, different kinds of transactions where we change the field catalog, layout, or the screen sequence. But in the S4 system, all this functionality is handled only by the BDT, business data tool set. Okay. And what functional this business data tool set handles is, is for changing of your uh, BP layouts, screen sequence in the BP and making field changes into the BP and also uh, interface for a BP. So this is a uh, useful when you're talking about ECC to the, uh, to the new dimension models, but currently we are only into the single dimension model, which is single model, which is uh, S4 system. So we don't need any uh, interface for the BP to the customer. And where does this BPT, BPT is used? Currently this is used in uh, S4 system across and incentive management, claims management in BR plus. Also, this uh, in the ACC models, this is widely used. So, ACC in the sense the new dimension models where uh, we have an interface from ECC to the new dimension models, so the ability is being used. And is it this functional change or this is a technical change? So, initially, when this ability concept is introduced into the new dimension models, this was handled by the basis guys. So later, because of this flexibility, so even the functional consultant can also make a changes to the ability. So we are going to see in the system how and where we can make the changes. So these are all some of the 
uh, transaction codes which you can use it on your own and just make some changes. Okay. And now uh, I will just go into the system. I will show you the different transactions where I can make the changes. Uh, so for example, I will open my system. So this is my uh, one six one zero uh, one nine zero nine sorry one nine zero nine system. And this is the IDS version. Yeah. So now I will be just going to the transaction called BUPT. Okay, so when you use the BUPT, it will take you to the transaction business partner task menu. So we have a different uh, field menus here. So this is our transaction. So <clears throat> first of all, what we are going to see is, uh, I will just open one of the business partner. So BP is a transaction code which can be used for uh, business partner. I will take one business partner, uh, which I created recently. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so now uh, I will go to the customer. So I will just go to the sales and distribution. So these are all the screens what we see. So how the system is determining these screens. So that is what we are and we should understand. So before that, what is the logic is? Uh, I'll just open the business partner BTT change. Okay, so here just go to the business partner. We have a control and we have a screen sequence. So these are all the different screens where we see uh, in the business partner BP. Okay, so uh, to understand this, so I will just open one of the uh, uh, say, for example, I want to know what is the screen for shipping. Okay, I want to find out the delivering plant. So, how do I find in this business partner? Just click you put uh, BDT underscore analyzer. Okay, so this will open a BDT analyzer where it says for this particular uh, delivery plant, the screen sequence is CVI C01. Okay, so this is sales and distribution data for a customer. Okay, so this complete area is now under the screen sequence. Under the screen sequence, this one. We have different screens. So what are all those screens? One is a customer orders, this one, and one is a shipping, and one is billing, one is a business partner. All these will be called as a screen. So first is your screen sequence. This is a screen sequence, the whole uh, layout, what you are going to see here, what you are seeing here, this entire is called a screen sequence. And for each screen sequence, the sub screens are divided. So these are all the different screens. So now we are into the shipping and we have sections. Okay. So in the shipping, we have a different sections. One is shipping and one is a partial deliveries. So just to click on the sections, we have a sales area uh, under the shipping. Okay, so this is my sales area and we have a shipping and we have a partial deliveries. So now I'm into the uh, views. What are the views? I want a delivery plan. Okay, so this is my view. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I click on the view, the system will bring me into this delivery plant, and this is my application, which is a customer link, and this is my sales area data set. So, this is how you know to find out the view for a particular uh, field. Okay, so now we will see whether this is possible to change. So, which means I have a requirement, so I want a uh, uh, some new fields to be added in the shipping tab. Okay, additionally, not a delivery plan. Maybe I want to add something called a, a loading group, or I want to add some shipping conditions, or, or uh, shipping terms. Okay, so this is possible to add in the S4 HANA system from here. 
Yeah, so for this, what we will do? Uh, one minute, I'm just. Uh, yeah. So what we are going to see first is the sequence is uh, just uh, observe or remember this. So first we need to have a screen sequence, and then we have a screens, and then we have a sequence, and then we have a views. So where do we configure this? I go into the screen sequence. So hierarchy is screen sequence, and then we have a screens, and then we have a sequence, and then views. So what is the screen sequence? What we understand first is CBI C01. So I will just go to the screen sequence. CBI C01. Okay. So this is a sales AI data for customer. So this is a screen which is assigned for your role. So to determine the sales area. So just click here and what are the screens we have here? So we have our orders, we have our shipping, we have a billing. So this is how we can see in the uh, master data. These are all the screens, right? So in this we have different, different screens. So if I want to make any changes here, so I want to uh, make the order different. So I need to configure something different and assign into the screens and assign into the uh, screen sequence so if i make any change here automatically the system will determine the particular screen so now uh, we are into the shipping okay so we want to find out the views so you just click here and what is a screen we are into Okay, views. First of all, to identify the views, so first we need to identify the screens. So this is my screen, and what is the screen we are using? CBI C01. Okay, so this is uh, status shipping data. So this is the in this what are the sections we have. So we have a customer sales shipping, and we have a partial deliveries. So that means uh, shipping tab. I, if I want to find out the views in this, I need to go into the section and look for a views. So just I will come here. So what is a, a view? What is the section we have? So this, uh, sorry, this is not the section. I think I put wrong. Zero seventy. Uh, seventy four is my shipping section. So just click on the views in this. <coughs> so we have these the different. So the view of uh, the plant tendering plant is CBA once I C eighty one. So just click here into those. Shipping sections. So you see CBIC81. So if you want to make any changes in this, uh, the sequence, or if you want to add anything, so this is how you need to identify the place and add it. Okay, so this is how the changes will happen. And, uh, and also, if you want to make any changes to the field layout or field catalog, so that is. Uh, B U S J. <laughs> okay, so whether you want to make in the change or whether you want to make in the create or whether you want to make in the display, so based on that, you can just go and you can make the changes here. So, this is as per the activities. Okay, and this there is also one more call transaction called B U S C. So, this is as per the grouping criteria. So, uh, these are all enough for, from the sales and MM perspective, and also from the other models like HRM or the success factors, 
uh, employee or a field service manager or sales representative or credit customer. So wherever we have the integration with ST or MM, so this is enough for us. So if you want to know more on the BR plus or if you want to know more on uh, uh, the incentive managing, management or uh, if you want to know more on uh, say claims management, so you need to just uh, uh, read the SAP help on the BDT. So whatever I uh, give the information, this is only specific to the sales and financials or uh, sourcing and procurement. Hope oh, I and uh, I think everybody understood this. And if you need any help or anything, you can just put in the comment section. So I'm very uh, happy to help you. Okay, thank you.